Former chairman of the Independent National Electoral Commission, Ainek Atahiru Jega, has faltered the National Assembly's move to alter the sequence of the 2019 elections. Jega took the position at an event organized by the Youth Initiative for Advocacy Growth and Advancement in Abuja. Basilo Kafo has a report. The Senate and the House of Representatives had passed an amendment of the Electoral Act which will alter the sequence of elections in the country if it becomes a law. With the amendment, the National Assembly election is to hold first, contrary to the INEX timetable that puts the presidential election first. At this event organized by the Youth Initiative for Advocacy Growth and Advancement as part of its rules, to educate the citizenry ahead of 2019 general election. The former INEC chairman, who was among the dignitaries present at the occasion, believes that the move being made by the National Assembly will undermine the independence of the electoral body if it succeeds. There is a constitutional basis, and I am struggling to find where the National Assembly found the constitutional justification for what they have done. Also speaking on the theme of the occasion, which asks the question, is Nigeria's democracy under threat? Jega agreed, saying that politicians' attitude to win at all costs and voters' apathy are the greatest threat to the nation's democracy. It's the recklessness of our politicians to undermine electoral integrity. And, uh, and uh, the Electoral Commission may do a few things to keep ahead of them, and they will try to do several things to now overtake and be ahead of the Electoral Commission. Because electoral integrity is not in the interest of those who want to win election by do or die mentality or mindsets. Other stakeholders at the occasion also share their opinions on how to make the electoral system work better in Nigeria. We know about the bandwagon effect. And that's why you look at small parties, you say they're not growing. If you allow the process to start from bottom up, I am telling you, in the State House of Assembly, you may have five parties. You may have ten parties. How do we clean up the voters' register? There is an ongoing process. But elsewhere, even as draconian as Mugabe Zimbabwe was in those days, there were civil society people who did also an authentication of that voters' register. Jega further added that some sections of the 1999 constitution clearly state that the power to organize and set the date for elections remain the exclusive preserve of the INEC. Basil Okafor, Court TV News, Abuja.